I'm Kim Howerton, health coach and keto expert. And I'm coming to you in this video to give you a little before and after how I used to eat sort of my first six months of keto and how I eat now. Because keto isn't one size fits all. It can look like a lot of different things. And I wanna give you a glimpse into some of the different ways that still fit within a keto way of eating. So we're gonna start with the first thing I have almost every day, which is coffee. And to those of you out there who are going to say that I don't like coffee, that I like creamer, I like them both. So let's get into this one. So when I first started keto, heavy cream saved the day. Let me show you about what I did. And there you go. So this is how I would drink my coffee when I started keto. It was sort of like melted ice cream. Now, let me show you what I do. I use some almond milk and I pretty much get it as milky as I want to. And then I finish it off with some nut pods. I'm partial to the caramel flavor myself, just to kind of give it a little thickness and a little flavor. And in this way, I can still have my milky, creamy coffee, but without quite as much of a caloric impact. So this is about a quarter cup, which is about what I would put in my coffees, sometimes a little more. Careful at Starbucks, they go heavy. For a quarter cup of heavy cream, you're looking at about 200 calories, 20 grams of fat, no real grams of protein, less than a gram or two of carbs, because there is a little carb in heavy cream, regardless of what people tell you. Then in terms of my almond milk, a quarter cup of almond milk you're gonna make me do math, right? Um, is somewhere in the neighborhood of eight calories, about a gram of fat, and about a gram of carbs. This little guy, I just did a little splash, that's adding about 10 calories. So you can see that my coffee situation has shifted, um, but I find it equally delicious. When I made my shift in terms of the way that I eat, from the beginning keto to now, it's not all about calories, people, but I would rather have more of my fat in my meals with my food, part of that nourishment. You know, though heavy cream is delicious and has a lot to recommend it, it's not a real nutrient dense food. And so one of the main shifts that I made was it's not all about calories, but when we eat, that is our body's way of getting everything it needs. So I'm not anti-fat, I'm not anti-calorie. What I'm saying is I made a decision partway into my keto journey to emphasize more nutrient-dense foods so that my body had what it needed to be optimally healthy. If you liked this video and you want more, make sure you're a subscriber. And if you want notifications about videos just like this, hit the bell.